Did you get pi for your birthday? Yes, more than a million digits after the decimal. Attention, the Daily Knot, the 4th of October 2023. Live in 3, 2, 1. Hello and welcome to the Daily Knot, a show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. So, Body, what do we have tonight? Here's an overview of what didn't happen. Video does not show trans species rights protest in Germany. Human robots patent not granted, not synced with COVID-19. CDC did not report 99% of COVID deaths weren't caused by COVID. No evidence Trump on September 26, 2023 posted on Truth that he'll beat Obama in 24 and send NBC to firing squad. NFL coaches did not unanimously vote to ban anthem kneeling. Masks in photo do not prove 2023 Nobel winners distrust trust vaccine they enabled. So all of that didn't happen? Let's get down into details. I've heard some people talking about something, and I wonder if it is true. Does a video show hundreds of people who identify as dogs at a trans species rights protest in Germany? No, that's not true. The group of people dressed as dogs and barking in the video attended a festival in Europe that celebrated a week full of unique leather and fetish events. Thanks for looking into that. They were attending a street fair and parties and this had nothing to do with trans species rights or protests. Well folks, turns out those trans species rights protesters in Germany were just a bunch of party animals. Literally. They were barking up the wrong tree with that one. Hey body, did you hear this one? Did a patent for human robots come out in late 2019 at the same time as the COVID-19 pandemic? Proving existence of a plan to replace humans with robots, rendering human military and police forces obsolete? No, that's not true. There is a real patent application with the U.S. Patent Office for human robots, the new species, but it was first submitted as a provisional application on September 19, 2018, more than a year before the first recorded outbreak of COVID. Oh, I see now. That's fascinating. There is no credible connection between the patent and the pandemic nor does the post provide evidence that in post-pandemic times people are being replaced with the human robots described in the patent. Well, folks, it looks like the conspiracy theorists are at it again. Robots won't replace the police or the military. The only thing we are really good at is presenting fact-checking shows. I'm really curious about this next one. Did the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, report that 99% of COVID deaths were not primarily caused by the virus? No, that's not true. The claim was propagated by an incorrect headline written by the Daily Mail, which has since been fixed to reflect the corrected details of a story about COVID as a fraction of deaths from all causes. Oh, wow. The original headline said, 99% of COVID deaths, not primarily caused by the virus, CDC data shows. As of this writing it reads, COVID to blame for just 1% of weekly deaths from all causes across the US, CDC data shows. Well folks, it looks like the Daily Mail had a little mix-up with their headline. Turns out, COVID is not playing a game of hide-and-seek with the causes of death. It's more like a solid 1% contribution to the weekly death toll. Can you shed some light on this issue? Did former president and 2024 presidential candidate Donald Trump publish a social media post that confused President Joe Biden with former President Barack Obama in the 2024 election? No, that's not true. A screenshot that claims to show such a post cannot be found on Trump's Truth Social account page. And that's one more thing we've learned today. The alleged post is likely a parody of previous statements Trump has made. So it turns out it wasn't Trump who couldn't keep things apart, it was the people who couldn't keep this screenshot apart from reality. So, body, can you look into this other thing for me? Did National Football League NFL coaches unanimously vote to ban anthem kneeling permanently? No, that's not true. An NFL representative told lead stories that this claim was totally false. Any more background info? A Google News and NFL.com search did not yield evidence of such a vote, and lead stories found the same story reposted on a satire website. Well folks, it turns out that the rumor of NFL coaches unanimously voting to ban anthem kneeling is about as real as my chances of becoming a professional football player. It's just another case of fake news getting tackled for a loss. 
Hey buddy, I've heard you've been looking into this. Does a photo of Catalan Carrico and Drew Weissman, the 2023 Nobel Prize laureates in physiology, that shows them wearing face masks demonstrate that they do not trust their own innovation in the field of mRNA vaccine development? No, that's not true. An image shared on social media was taken more than a year prior to the announcement of the 2023 Nobel Prize winners, when Kariko and Weissman received another award in Japan. Really, body? Unlike the United States, Japan was still mandating masks during that specific time frame in 2022. It was required, Nobel Prize laureate Kariko confirmed to lead stories, refuting the claim in the post. Both scientists were seen celebrating the news without a face covering when the honors were announced in October 2023. I'm speechless. Even chat GPT doesn't know what to say here. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.